all right all right collective vita here back with another message for you take what resonates kick boulders to the rest okay because you might have to kick something very big out of your way because this first card we have here is stand down it is not the time to fight the archangels are assessing the current situation so there's something going on somebody is mad oh okay well if you have a youtube channel someone wants to sabotage your channel they are jealous okay let them be jealous let them be jealous somebody is mad at you collective they mad big mad <laughs> Once you decide to leave, they will never be able to find you. So this person is mad or these people are mad because they don't have access to you. And you're getting attention. These are attention seekers. And the worst thing you can do to an attention, attention seeker, someone that falls under that narcissistic, whatever you want to call it. I prefer the word a-hole. That's what I think they are. But... When they can't get your attention, when you ignore this type of personality, it is just, it's too much for them. They can't handle it. And someone cannot handle that you continue to ignore them. Guilt is for the weak and the wicked. You are neither. You're not, you're, you're not feeling guilty. Someone wants you to feel guilty. Someone could be trying to set you up so that you are found guilty. Due diligence is required. Don't just take their word for it. So if you are working on anything, top secret, whatever, contracts, some sort of agreements, can't just take their word for it. This cannot be a verbal agreement. Something has to be ironclad in writing and thoroughly reviewed. Some investigation might be in order. Some sleuthing. Some online sleuthing, sleuth, sleuth, am I saying that right? Someone's studying you online. He wants to start over with you sincerely. There's someone that wants to start over with you sincerely. Not sure who this person could be, could be past, could be future. Someone that you might have met briefly, you didn't get off to a good start. They want to start over sincerely. They want to show you a different side of them. Someone wants to see all sides of you. One more card. Please and thank you. Oh, look at this. Your existence is a gift. Yes, it is. No one can replace you. Someone has figured that out a little bit too late. When the student is ready, the ascending master will appear. Remember which you are. You are the bridge between the light and the dark, both the student and the teacher. What do we want to use to clarify these cards? I guess I will use the Kepper. Stand down. It is not time to fight. The Archangels have been very present. The cloud formations this morning were absolutely stunning. I told my kid I saw a spaceship and he got mad. I do that on purpose just to irritate him. <laughs> Main male. <laughs> I told y'all, it's some somebody, somebody close to you, mad, could be this main male. This did land between once you decide to leave them, they will never be able to find you and do diligence. So, I'm going to put that in the middle. And what I'm kind of getting is, for some of you, if you do have to leave some personality that is controlling, that won't let you go, and you feel like maybe even you might be in a little bit of danger, I don't think that's for many people at all, but if that resonates, then wherever you plan on moving to is very important that you... Uh, Cover your bases, aren't very traceable, something like that. Don't tell people where you're going, whatever a lease agreement or a home purchase you might be making. Maybe you want to make that um, incognito, 
I don't know how you would do that with the lease, but I know for a home you can put it in a trust or something like that, but I'm not a legal person, so legal counsel might be required for some of you. You perhaps can't do this due diligence on your own. It requires another level of expertise. This main male could be doing a bit of his own due diligence, could be deciding to leave, wanting to disappear, could even be wanting to fake their existence some sort of way. Hmm, interesting. Stand down. Let's try this again. See where this card pops. Stand down. So some of you could be uh, trying to keep your temperament down. It's landing on this dude. That dog it. Mature woman. Hmm. This could be a pairing. This could be a parent to this main male. Some older confidant. Six and one is a seven. This could even be you. We've got child at the bottom, followed by poverty. Let's get a card for, I'm going to come back to these two. I feel like these are heathens here, but we'll see. We'll get some more clarity. Heathens. You're dealing with some heathens. Stand down. Come on, just don't pop. Stand down. Someone's dealing with a heathen. Okay. High honor. I send the reverse. So, yeah. The archangel. Ooh, coffin. Ooh. Well. The archangels are telling you to stand down. Do not compromise your integrity, your honor. Let them deal with these heathens. So we're going to leave these cards here, but I still want to get a card for once you decide to leave. Someone's lost their honor, honor that they probably never had to begin with. Once you decide, oh goodness, gift and it's sideways. So this could have to do with some monetary gift. Feels like money, false person. Someone could be, uh, they faked it, thinking they were going to make it, but they just didn't make it with this false person. Two false people here, and then we've got this main male and this mature woman here. So this main male could have uh, got with an older person, an older woman, or vice versa, um, looking for someone to take care of them, or at least maintain their lifestyle. I feel like this energy, or both of these energies like to live a little bit large, or a lot large. <sighs> gift is sideways. You're this gift. You're sideways here, crossing over these two. These could be relatives of yours. Don't have to be. Seven and one is an eight. Once you decide to leave, they will never be able to find you. False person again, and now we've got courthouse. It's kind of in the reverse. I'm just going to leave this like that because we're going to have to clarify more. False person. False person is an eight. This gift, 17, is an eight. It's shown itself twice. Five, six, eleven, twelve. Twelve, three, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, eight, twenty-one, thirty-seven. It keeps coming back to this poverty with family room. So this is some sort of family dynamic. Prison. Someone's facing prison. They expect to go to prison. Someone expects to be sentenced to prison. Hence, this high honor card that's in the reverse. Someone's very afraid. Could be hearing things. Seeing shadow people out the corner of their eye. Courthouse in the reverse. Judgment. They try to get a judgment reversed. Judgment in reverse. No reprieves. Unable to start again. When the student is ready, the sending master will appear. Remember which you are. Don't let anyone 
try to uh, even make you doubt your power. You're in your power. Your existence is a gift. Okay, we've got a sideways card, false person, sideways. Okay, so someone's doing that yapping again. Privileged lady at the bottom, that's a number 12. Where did I say there was a 12? Five, six, seven. That would be, no, five, six, one. That would be a 12. These three cards, 12 here, privileged lady. Official person is in a master number 22. 16, that's a seven. So someone is thinking a lot about you. They want to court you. This could be this mature man. Here's someone who is genuinely mature, well-balanced, meticulous. Someone saying that you're a fake, phony. Your channel is garbage. Your messages are garbage. You're going to fail. Someone is a... Uh, speaking failure onto your life that's not a good idea but let them do what they want despair here number 32 here we've got courthouse in the reverse 23 reversed is 32 5 and 5 yeah you're in despair for a reason you know what i'm saying this person's in despair for a reason they did too much and they haven't learned their lesson high honor in the reverse 25 is a seven this person does not have any divine gifts Ooh. ace of wands and it landed in the upright on mature woman and then we've got six of cups so this mature woman is someone that someone else is thinking a lot about having a new beginning with this could be so we've got six of cups and then the king of wands and then temperance and seven of swords. So there's some, I'm not sure what this is. I still am not sure even if this mature woman is the collective. Sometimes she is, sometimes she isn't. The main male rarely is. This ace of wands is interesting. Cosmic knowledge. You're getting downloads when you're not even aware that you're getting downloads. So you could be seeing your vocabulary switch up quite a bit. Quite a bit. And how you articulate yourself is changing up in ways that might even make it so people just aren't even understanding what you're saying. High honor in the reverse. Okay, this card flipped. So we've got two of wands here. And again, this is like contemplation. There's some contemplation on, and this could be happening between two archangels. They're assessing. There's something that's being assessed. There's a situation that's being assessed. And it does have to do with you. Why is this main male here? The sun and it landed kind of sideways. Due diligence. Okay, so this main male is trying to conceal something. Something is coming out about this person. Four of Pentacles. It could be that they're going broke and people are finding out about that. Let's get another card for the sun that's sideways. Okay, another sideways card. Eight of Swords. Okay, so this could have to do with the imprisonment card that we saw, but it didn't come out. And then we've got Three of Cups. This could be something that happened at a party. This could even be someone that took a large group of people out to a restaurant, was going to foot the bill. Their credit card was denied. It was embarrassing. People are muttering about this person someone knows that they're embroiled in a lot of uh legal with a lot of legal issues ace of wands let's get another card for this ace of wands Her. six of swords and it landed on courthouse 
And then we've got Ace of Pentacles in the upright. So whatever this is, you are guided away from this event. This could be an event that hasn't quite fully blossomed just yet. Six of Swords, Ace of Wands. You could not be interested in starting over with anyone. Maybe there are some projects, creative projects that you spent a lot of time on. And you've decided that those projects just aren't speaking your soul language anymore. So you've dropped those ideas. Maybe you had to uh, forego some payments. Six of Swords. Seven of Wands. It's in the reverse. Clarifying Six of Swords. And then we've got Four of Cups. So, hmm, I'm not sure what this is. <clears throat> Mature woman. They want to sabotage your sobriety. Don't let them in. Kind of landed in the reverse. Hancock twin flame in reverse. Okay. So this is that false, I don't even like to say false twin anymore because I feel like this twin is necessary for your ascension and that could be why this false person that's red, you know, you see the color synchronicity, the false person and we've got student and ascending master. So like you you had to deal, you have to deal with this other energy that's corded to you so that you're no longer the student, but the ascending master. I mean, they're, they're a pivotal part of your ascension and perhaps even vice versa. So you could be this mature woman here. Hancock twin flame in reverse. Zombie, street drug, bioweapon. It takes the same amount of effort. Hmm. Let's keep going. So the seven, someone doesn't want you to have any protection. Someone thinks maybe that they can still access you through some sort of magic. Four of Cups. Five of Cups, nine, four and five is a nine, nine of Cups energy. This person isn't satisfied with how their life is going. They have a lot of regrets when it comes to you. They are determined to stop your movement. They are determined to block your movement with the Six of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Your creativity Again, if you are getting a lot of attention, which is divinely orchestrated because your voice is required at this time, there are a lot of truth truths that are coming out that are uh, that are unyielding and very uncomfortable for a lot of people. So let's get a card for this seven of wands in the reverse. Six of Wands, it's in the upright. Yeah, this person, so six, seven, six could be significant. And then we have this King of Pentacles. So this King of Pentacles is followed by the Devil and the Nine of Swords. Huh. I'm going to have to keep going. False person sideways. So we're getting a lot of sideways energy, strength sideways landed on top of this main male and the sun. And then we have king of swords. So this main male could be a king of swords or he's dealing with a king of swords energy. There's some sort of duel here. We've only got, no, hold on. False person, okay. The devil, sideways. 
So someone's trying to conceal their intentions when it comes to you. This could be a new person as well. Eight of Pentacles could have something to do with your work. Three of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Someone wants to work with you. Nine of Swords. You could be making a lot more money or there's something that you're doing that has this person thinking that you're making a lot of money. They're losing their money and their latest scheme is to partner up with you some sort of way. Maybe they are going to be using some um, third party person to try to access you. <clears throat> uh, let's get a card for this main nail here. Oh, I can't stand it when this card comes out. If they hit you once, they will hit you again. You have no protection if you go back to them. See, this is what I'm saying. I don't, oh my gosh, I don't like to get this kind of, these messages, maggot brain. Okay, so this goes back to the beginning of the reading. This is not for a lot, but it is for someone. Once you decide to leave, they will never be able to find you. Due diligence is required. If they hit you once, they will hit you again. You will have no protection if you go back to them. We've got this seven of wands that's in the reverse. The six of swords makes sense. So you're being, whoever this is for, you've been divinely guided away from this abusive person. And so it's important to do what you need to do to get away from them once and for all for good. The archangels are monitoring this situation you have to follow your guidance if you don't follow your guidance you're not going to have this protection but you will follow your guidance because then we have six of wands so there's victory here for you this is don't even think about this message if it's not resonating with you because it's just it's not the kind of thing i like to yeah, I don't like this. Anyway, so we've got maggot brain. And then behind that, we have not a word from their mouth. Can be trusted. Their heart is filled with destruction. Their throat is an open grave. So this person, all they do is speak deceit. <clears throat> and they're losing strength. They could be very charming, but people are hip to uh, their deceitfulness. This person could be a public figure. They're being found out. This could be made public that this is an abuser. Could be abusing their power or did abuse their power in the court system. Could have used the courts to steal inheritances. Do some sort of child scheme. Something to do with, okay. I don't know what in the world. Something to do with children being removed from the home and they get a certain amount of money or something like that through the courts. But then whoever this person or people are, they're siphoning um, percentages, portions of this money belonging to these children and lining their own pockets with it. I don't know what that is. Okay, let's keep going. Why is... <sighs> High honor here. So if something real dirty has been done to you and you're ready to like go knock on somebody's door, the message is to just lay low, lay low. You know, don't be set off. Don't get set up. High honor in reverse. Trophy husband just shot out. <laughs> I can't stop myself from watching you. So there's a trophy. Somebody that thought they were a trophy, thought they were a prize. They are getting every like last bit of, I want to say turd knocked out of them, but that's kind of gross. Trophy husband. I can't stop myself from watching you. This person who is caught up in all of this drama, still very much dedicated to trying to stifle your light, trick you, can't stop watching you. The more they watch you, the more obsessed they become, the more angry they become, the more dedicated they become 
to coming toward you, but they know you've got this protection. And maybe at one point they thought that they could provoke you, that you would respond to them. And maybe they've already tried that a few times, but you're not responding. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Okay. False person, sideways. A lot of sideways cards, though. One, two, three, four, five. Five sideways. Five. Okay. It's trying to change something. This person's trying to change very quickly. If they hit you once, they will hit you again. Maybe this person is stuck with an abuser. Mm -hmm. False person. On the run. <laughs> it landed right on top of six of wands. On the run, clarifying false person. They deeply love you, but they are afraid, and so they stay away and remain unhappy. Capricorn, Leo. <clears throat> Let's get a card for main mail, another one. Person is very unhappy. Mystic is clarifying the main male. And then we have victim at the bottom. So I believe I did mention some sort of magic. The shadow here is delusional rapport with the divine. And we did see the maggot brain card. So I really do feel like this person feels like they can compete with your magic, that they have the same stardust that you have but it's just not fully uh, activated yet. Maybe they think that they need you to activate their magic fully so that they can destroy you. Okay. And in the meantime, they're playing the victim. This Don Juan, we already have trophy husband out, clarifying the high honor that's in the reverse. And then we got a priest and beggar. So this person goes in between begging God to cursing God and begging the devil. Like they just, they can't get it together. They don't know how to worship God, so they worship the devil. Or rather, they don't know how to talk to God, so they worship the devil. <sighs> okay. The devil. <laughs> Servant and vampire in the reverse. Oh my gosh. I just don't need to keep going. It's the same. It's like this person, whoever this might be to you, avenger, rebel, networker, slave, guide, destroyer, teacher, knight, victim again, Don Juan. <clears throat> This is why I think these readings for me kind of jump around because the main person, the main energy that comes out continuously trying to overshadow the collective is this person that has a delusional rapport with the divine. Hence this devil card sideways clarifying false person, vampire servant. I mean, that's just what it is. And so because they're in and out of, you know, this person could literally have a couple of different personalities for sure. There's some sort of diagnosis that has not gone, like hasn't been recognized. And this could be something from childhood. And maybe this person is aware of it, but just accepts that as their magic. They accept their delusion as their magic, hence the delusion. I mean, if that makes any sense at all, I don't know, but with the Avenger here re resorting to violence in the name of a cause is the shadow. And like I said, that there is a element of uh, retribution coming through. This person wants to get you back for a uh, 
ignoring them. So we'll just close this out with some angel messages. They can't make their way to you though. They're too, they're too much in despair. And then we've got thief behind despair and bad health, which explains the sideways cards. This person, all they can probably do is just watch you. You might be really spicy. You might be somebody that, you know, knows how to kick it up a notch. So maybe this person knows they need their full strength if they want to try to mess with you. not funny final messages please and thank you spirit oh my gosh what divine order and it landed in the reverse on top of this six of swords in the upright everything is how it needs to be right now look past the illusion and see underlying order so with this in the reverse, everything is not as it needs to be right now, especially when it comes to this person. So something is being hammered out. That's what this is right here. Archangels are assessing the situation. The current situation stand down. Got it. Got it. Something's out of order here with this. Holy moly. Everything is how it needs to be right now. No, it isn't. Look past the illusion. Instead of looking past the illusion, look into it. Something needs to be made right. Angel therapy. The angels are taking care of it. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. So there you have it. Whatever this is, it can't come toward you, but something is out of order and it has to be re revamped. And it's under surveillance. You're under surveillance, angelic surveillance. And my throat is starting to do something weird. So, and that could be why this bad health is here. They might have had to knock this person all the way down so they can't get back up anytime soon. <clears throat> okay. That could, I had a dream. It was somewhat explicit and. I mean, it wasn't unpleasant, but it was just like, really, you're going to try this again? You're an idiot. So someone's an idiot. They keep trying the same old tricks over and over again. But whatever they've done as of recently, they might have crossed a line that they shouldn't have crossed. Might have even tried to open up a portal. Something could have conjured up something that had no business being conjured. I don't know exactly, but... Yeah. All right, you guys. I'll see you soon in another video.